Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. That's a quote from Arthur C. Clarke. From space exploration to the smartphone, there isn't one area of technology that hasn't been influenced by the fantasy before it. Science fiction engages the imagination and compels us to dream and conceptualize the unimaginable. And though sometimes new inventions seem odd or unthinkable, they may surprise us in ways that we've never thought of before. Like. Number 10. Real Life Smelloscope If you're a fan of Futurama, odds are you've seen Professor Farnsworth's Smelloscope, a device that can smell scents across the universe. Initially, it was just a gag invention for the television show, but thanks to the Denver Department of Environmental Health, it's now a reality. The Nasal Ranger operates exactly like its fictional counterpart, but for the sole purpose of sniffing out marijuana and other illegal smells drifting around the neighborhood. Ranger Ben Siller uses a scope to detect scents that are at least 8 to 1 strength, meaning that it is within range of being illegal legal and finable up to $2,000. A dial-operated mixer filters out varying degrees of different scents, determining which hits the target area of strength and which doesn't, allowing one to easily track and find marijuana within a given radius. The device has also been featured in a History Channel episode. Number 9. Real Back to the Future Lace-Up Shoes Have you ever wanted automatic lace-up shoes? Well, everyone who has ever had a child has, especially ever since they first saw that magical film about time traveling Back to the Future 2. At the time, the technology seemed remarkably far away, and while today it might also seem that way, we don't have to wait any longer. A designer by the name of Blake Bevan has designed his own version of the shoes, and they lace up automatically. Small motors in the shoe power the mechanism, and a small button on the side activates it. These make lacing up effortless for the elderly or just lazy people. Number 8. Ice 9 Polymer to Jellify Ocean Life In Kurt Vonnegut's famous novel Cat's Cradle, Ice 9 is a polymer that could freeze over entire oceans from just a small quantity. Now this same doomsday material exists as Dutch researchers have synthesized a gel-forming polymer that can gelify an entire Olympic-sized swimming pool when it's heated to a certain temperature. Polyisocyanide has short peptide arms surrounding a helical backbone coated in carbon and oxygen chains that can push molecules such as H2O away and build a gel-like structure within seconds. Contrasted with most natural biopolymers, which build structure once cooled, this gives it way more applications in science, such as an instant way to plug fatal wounds. Number 7. A real Spidey Sense Suit What would you do if you had superpowers? Would you use them for good or for your own self-interest? Either one you choose, you might soon be able to live out those fantasies, well, sort of, thanks to a graduate student named Matt Avisti, who has designed a Spider Sense Suit with the incredibly ingenious and original name of, well, Spider Sense. Small robotic arms are outfitted all over the suit and contain microphone modules that receive and send ultrasonic reflections from and to the surrounding environment. When a threat is detected, sensors apply pressure to the designated body part toward the appropriate direction. Test subjects were blindfolded and given cardboard throwing stars to toss at perceived threats. And 95% of the time, they were able to properly attack the threat, meaning the suit could be helpful for those walking home at night or the elderly and cyclists or just adult children who want to live out their comic book fantasies. Number 6. Digital Taste Simulator Ever wanted to try out virtual video game foods or taste any flavor of your favorite food at any time you wanted? Well, scientists at the National University of Singapore have made that dream come true with the Digital Taste Interface device, which lets you taste virtually anything you want to by way of electrodes. A small silver electrode attaches to the tip of your tongue and can trick the taste buds into experiencing all five tastes by way of current, frequency, and temperature manipulation. Test subjects have been seen experiencing different tastes by way of the sensor. Groundbreaking implications include a way for diabetics to finally taste sweet things without spiking their sugar levels, or cancer patients to enjoy food while undergoing chemotherapy. Number 5. Magneto Shoes The closest you've ever gotten to being a superhero is probably something like putting on a cape and mask and pretending to be Batman or Superman. Eventually, we all grow up and put aside childish things. Except for one man, that is, by the name of Colin Furs, whose YouTube channel is devoted to bringing outlandish superhero powers to life, like Wolverine claws. He has created magnetic shoes, which help emulate some of his powers. His invention allows him to walk on the ceiling by way of magnetic coils attached to the bottom of a pair of Vans sneakers. The current is run through the coils to create a magnetic attraction, and a switch on the heel allows him to control this current at will, toggling it to move one foot after another to walk across any metallic surface. 
Let's hope that Colin doesn't use his powers for evil. Number 4. Dune Algae Suit Provides Self-Sustaining Sustenance Algae is one of the most important plants on our planet, providing almost half of our oxygen as well as being extremely plentiful and nutritious. NASA is trying to use algae and bacteria to create enough oxygen to survive a trip to Mars. So why haven't we fully utilized it here, though? Well, Agri Mexico Nitter and Michael Burton have created a biotechnology suit reminiscent of the still suits from Dune, which can trap moisture and keep your body hydrated through the harsh desert landscapes by trapping CO2 through a breathing mask and transporting it through tubes to a stored algae colony. They've experimented with the technology by using opera singer Louise Ashcroft and her large lung capacity to generate enough CO2 to create enough algae, which is then provided to her audience for tasting after her performance. After that, it's just up to a little photosynthesis and sunlight, and they'll have their own self-sustaining supply of edible food. Whether this will transform the way we think about food or not is yet to be seen, but the idea is very out of the box and interesting. Number 3. Real Transformers – Self-Assembling Cubes Transformers toys could never truly become their on-screen counterparts with the ability to transform into whatever at will and by themselves. That technology is pretty far in the future. Or is it? Engineers at MIT have designed self-assembling cubes called M-Blocks, which can leap, climb, move, and roll, all without any external parts whatsoever. So yes, it's very possible that the plot of Big Hero 6 could break out at any moment. This is made possible by an internal flywheel that spins at 20,000 revolutions per minute. When this rotation is stopped, the angular momentum is sent outward to the cube, making movement possible, and magnets are fitted to the edges and faces to make attachment to other cubes possible. If this is sounding like too much science, don't worry, it's something that is better understood by watching it in action. Because the cubes can form themselves into whatever shape desired, the possibilities are endless. From self-assembling buildings to giant death robots, whatever science feels like at any moment. Number 2. Batman-like Zebedee Scanner Maps Crime Scenes in 3D Batman is well known for his unconventional ways of solving crime and his extensive use of expensive, high-tech equipment that seems ripped straight from the pages of science fiction. Such practices, though, no longer belong to the realm of fiction and are now being utilized by real-life Batman in law enforcement to solve crime faster and more effectively. The Zebedee Scanner is responsible for this. Designed by Australia's National Research Agency, Zebedee can map out entire crime scenes in three dimensions, providing much more accurate evidence in court for better testimony, as well as allowing future access to a given area as well as hard-to-reach places. It accomplishes this by way of a 2D LiDAR scanner mounted on the head, which beams lasers to surrounding objects, gathering over 40,000 points of data each second. It's got a range of about 30 meters, and it saves law enforcement thousands of hours in investigation and labor. Currently, at a price of $37,000, the scanner sees little usage outside of a few task force, but Australia is employing more devices with more police forces across the country. Outside of crime, mapping crucial sites of cultural heritage and other future uses, we'll see it mounted on drones to extend the reach of its powerful scanning capabilities. Number 1. MIT's Inform Lab lets you remotely touch stuff. The limitations of the human body are that it can't remotely access things like a computer can. But what if you could do just that? What if you could, say, roll a bull miles away in the comfort of your own home? That's where MIT's Inform comes in. It's a device that renders people three-dimensionally and gives them remote access to manipulate their surroundings. The machine is like a pin screen, one of those toys that makes the shape of your hand on the other side when you press on it, except each pin is connected to a motor. In turn, it is controlled with a microcontroller and a circuit board. An Xbox Connect tracks movement and renders the person's actions to the other side, giving them control to touch, move, and shape things, even if they aren't in the same room. The possibilities are endless. For starters, how about being able to access whatever you wanted, anytime and anywhere you wanted, or being able to perform remote surgery? Finally, an invention that makes it acceptable to perform invasive heart surgery without the pesky need of wearing pants. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, why not check out another channel I do called Today I Found Out. I'm linking to that below. And as always, thank you for watching.